The learning cycle in our community is really important. Where did our approach to cyclical learning in community come from? Bob Karplus was my dissertation advisor at UC Berkeley. He was the best thinker and strategist about STEM teaching I have ever met. And two of his many ideas turned out to be especially useful as STEM Teachers NYC grew. First, Bob invented the concept of the learning cycle. Bob's idea was that every lesson went through three stages. Exploration, in which the student explored the behavior of a new type of system or phenomenon. Invention, in which a new idea or concept was introduced, usually by the teacher, but often by the student, which served to help in summarizing, understanding, and explaining the new phenomenon, and discovery, where the new idea was put to use in understanding a new system or a new type of phenomena and in which the student got to address and hopefully solve new problems. The key feature of the learning cycle, which Bob understood from the outset, was that it repeats so that the student becomes familiar with it and the student can gradually take the initiative in pursuing the cycle, thus becoming an independent learner, which is the true goal of most STEM instruction. The second thing I learned from Karplus grew out of the second stage of the learning cycle, the invention stage, which involves the introduction of a new idea, a unifying concept. This concept often assumes the form of what scientists often refer to as a model. Karplus was inspired by the way the 1960 PSSC physics course used the particle and wave models of light. And he developed modeling as an entire approach for teaching all of physics in his 1969 textbook, Introductory Physics Model Approach. This is a wonderful book, which is available now in the resources section of our website. Karplus pioneered the use of modeling in teaching physics. He described three different types of models with specific examples, working models, analog models, and mathematical models. Where is the model in our community learning cycle? In the learning cycle, teachers get stronger gradually through an organic process of structured sharing. In a workshop, Teachers gain appreciation for students' ways of thinking by taking on a student's role. Teachers then gain pedagogical and contextual perspective by analyzing what happened in collaboration with colleagues. In our community learning cycle, the model is the workshop. Excellent teaching requires spontaneous creativity, but great teachers get that way only by working hard at getting better over time and in the context of a supportive community. Teachers gradually learn how to drive the cycle forward. Our workshop leaders do their best to help teachers develop their own repertoire and to explore the responses kids exhibit to whatever is being studied. We know that teachers must dynamically adapt whatever they learn in our workshops so that it will work in their classroom with their kids. Beyond this, we try hard to connect teachers with a community of other teachers who can provide feedback to help deal with the constantly changing classroom situation. In 2020, we initiated a series of leader huddles, which generated an invigorating conversation among our teacher leaders. We will expand the leader pathway for experienced teachers to include additional collaborative space for new leaders. And if you're interested in being a leader of a workshop, please let me know and you can be part of this. We are investing in the quality and quantity of what I have always believed is the primary engine of our success, the commitment and expertise of the teachers in our community. We've trusted that practicing teachers have both the spontaneous creativity and the capacity to grow and adapt successfully that will enable them to become workshop leaders who can inspire their peers to strive for excellence.